to introduce electrostatic potential, I'm going to use an analogy. Now, hopefully you remember what an analogy is. Uh, maybe if you took, I don't know, the SAT or some college entrance exam, you may remember analogies. Okay. Sand is to Sahara as snow is to Siberia, for example. Uh, tequila is to Mexico as vodka is to Russia. You get the idea. It's, it's, sort, of, it's sort of like the uh, linguistic version of a ratio or a fraction. Coursera is to edX as Microsoft is to Apple. You get the idea. So we're going to try to use an analogy between a mechanical problem and an electrostatic problem. So the mechanical problem is the same one we just did. I'm not going to solve it again, is the ramp. If you had your little sliding mass here at point A, and it might slide down to another point, point B. And you could work out that problem and think about it. But now let's think in terms of what's happening in terms of energy. When you go from A to B, when it slides from A to B, you're going to lose potential energy. So you probably learned about potential energy in mechanics. And you're going to gain kinetic energy. Okay. Now, we could do the same thing in the electrostatics problem. So here, I could draw a big charge plus Q. And we could draw the field lines. Let's see, so field lines are going to go out like this. One is going to go up like that. And one's going to go down. One's going to come out. We can go ahead and draw one there, there, there. Got to have uniform field lines like that. So now, let's think about going from point A to B, essentially along a field line. Not one of the ones we drew, but let's go from here and put a little charge there, a little positive test charge, plus Q. And what's it going to do? It's going to fly away along this line to point B. The little test charge will make its way over there if we let it go. Just like here. If we let this go, it'll go from A to B. If we let this go, it'll go from A to B. So in this case, when we go from A to B, it's the same thing. You're going to lose potential energy. And you're going to gain kinetic energy. So when you're thinking about these, realize you can think of them exactly the same. Physically, it's the exact same thing. The ramp represents a way to move up and down in gravitational potential energy. A point charge near a big charge represents a way to move up and down in terms of electrostatic potential energy. So then our analogy is that force is to energy uh, in the mechanical world as the E field is to the electrostatic potential. What I mean by that is these are two ways to solve problems, force and energy. And in electrostatics, these are also two ways to solve problems. Right? So we calculated the forces from Coulomb's law, and we divided by the test charge. We called that the E field. So working with E field is like working with forces. But just like you can also solve problems by thinking about energy, potential and kinetic energy, you can also solve electrostatics problems by thinking about energy. And you do the same thing. You just divide by the charge. So this is force, just like we talked about before. This is force per unit charge, the test charge. This is basically U, the potential energy per unit charge down here. For this level, it's exactly the same idea. So that's how we're going to really get started thinking about it.